Hi there. In this video, we will see how to deploy Langchain, Pinecone, and Flask application, which we created in last video. Uh, we will deploy that application on AWS EC2 instance. So after deployment, the instance will be available on uh, uh, IP address like something like this, and uh, we can also add our own custom domain. So let's get started. I'm going to host this uh, application which we created. It's a retrieval QA chain chat with docs branch. And uh, in this branch, we had already done ingest part. So we had already ingested uh, that document to Pinecone database. So we don't no need to think about that. Let's go to EC2 console. So first you need to go to AWS and then search for EC2 here and then you can come here. Here you can click on launch instance. I will name as Lang chain in machine image. Just select Ubuntu. Instance type. I will select 1 GB server, but 500 EMB should also be sufficient. Then we need key pair which we will use to connect to uh, this server. So I am selecting, I am just going to create new key pair and let's name as LAN chain and uh, select it in PEM format and download the key pair. After that, Coming to networking section, we will allow SSS, HTTP, and HTTPS traffic. And in the storage section, uh, just keep it 8 GB, that should be sufficient. And then just hit the launch instance button. And then go to view all instances. And filter for running instances so this is the instance which is which we just created and its ip address is also available now we can open git bash you can also use command prompt but i prefer using git bash and then we can SSH to this uh, instance. So here I will replace new IP address. And here the file which we created is langchain.pem. So syntax is like SSH. And then after I flag, we need to pass the location of uh, key which we downloaded. And then username is Ubuntu and this is IP address. So let's connect. It will ask, uh, do you trust the fingerprint? Type yes. It says permission denied. Something seems wrong. Okay, it says no such file or directory. Okay, so. Looks like we created file by some other name. Lang, it's not lang chain, it's lang chain. So while creation of key, there is some typo. So instead of lang chain, I need to modify it as lang chain dot pdm. Now it's done successfully. After that, run sudo s2 get root privileges and then run apt get update command. It will update repositories and all that now once update is done we will see what version of python is installed so python hyphen hyphen version command and then python or here in this case is python 3 
so we can see that python 10 is installed if in your case uh, python 11 is installed then you do not need to do the next step for me uh, 10 is installed so i'm going to install 11 python 11 So for that, I need to add this repository and uh, then install Python 11 and then give high priority to Python 11. So these steps you can skip if not required. I will quickly install Python 3, uh, Python 3.11 and then You run these two commands and this one. I want Python 11 to be highest priority. And uh, now, if I run Python 3 hyphen hyphen version, then it will show me Python 3.11. And uh, you can refer this tutorial uh, to upgrade to Python 3.11. I will provide links in description. Now, uh, let's install pip. And also, uh, let's clone the, this branch, uh, retrieval QA chain branch from the repo. So it cloned the repo, I will move inside the repo. Now, uh, here is important step. Uh, I am using uh, PPNV, so I am installing PPNV. But uh, if you, and uh, I will install uh, requirements also using PPNV. But uh, if you had, uh, uh, if you want to use virtual ENV, then you can install virtual ENV and go ahead with uh, requirements.txt, etc. So let's install PPNV. And then run PPNV shell command. It will create, in, create environment and enter it. Now, if we see here, we already have this pip file but for some reasons uh, when i am trying to run this command ppnv install it's uh, just failing uh, after some time so i'm going to do another approach i will delete this file before that let's see what is the content of the file so i will cat the file and these are the dependencies which are installed but uh, we do not need all of them. I will I will remove that file, pip file, and then I will manually install dependencies by running this command ppnv install and then list of libraries ideally i should have just run ppnv install and it should have installed all these dependencies but for some reason it's not working so i'm going to manual approach let's run it if you are using virtual env you can install inside your environment or uh, if you are using nothing, then you can just uh, do pip install and install all these dependencies directly. So once installation is done, we can just go ahead and uh, I will just paste it at correct place. In, uh, 
once all dependencies are installed we can just run class run and uh, post 0, 0.000 and port 80 and hit the enter but it will give error that app.py file is not found and uh, looking at the code we know that our uh, app.py equivalent file is server.py so let's quickly copy server.py to app.py file and uh, run again class and it's running successfully now i can just visit this url and it's uh, working but uh, suppose if i ask qubit ask qubit then it's failing and uh, the reason behind failing is that it's trying to do call to this url uh, which is wrong i will just correct it so we stop the server and uh, open nano templates and in template we had home.html we had created home.html file in home.html we were using api url as this hard coded one so here we need to update this url to ip address of server and uh, then press ctrl plus o enter and ctrl plus x again restart the flask and before restarting the flask again one more thing we are missing is that uh, we still do not have dot env file here so i will create nano dot env and in dot env file i will go to my env file and in my env file i have pinecone details and open ai details serp api i don't need so i will copy all these details from my dot env file and paste it in that uh, server so now i had updated dot uh, env file and now i will run Flask command. Now I will can refresh the page and again ask Qubit, and this time it should work. So if we go to terminal, then we can see that retrieval QHN has started, and here it printed, it got response successfully. Now our app is live and working. And now there is only one problem if i go and close the terminal then this thing will also stop working so to fix this uh, we will use something called tmux and uh, for that you can follow this tutorial i will just again tunnel to the server press So tunnel then sudo yes then go to launch and folder and run ppnv cell command to activate the environment and then create new tmux session by running tmux new and session name is my test app so i will just use it as it is it is test it and uh, after that we need to after this command we need to run flask command run it and if i come here then it will again start working it's taking https which will not work we need only http because we have not installed ssl certificate and uh, i can ask what is objective of paper
and it's giving objective of paper not explicitly approved. What is quantum blockchain? Let's see if it's able to get correct data. Hmm. Okay, it's able to talk to document. Now, uh, here is the important step uh, to be attached to this uh, Tigmax session which we created. Press CTRL plus B and then D. It will uh, deattach from session and uh, now if I go and uh, even I have closed this uh, SSH terminal then still it will work. Also uh, there is one more important step. Uh, suppose you want to modify some files. Uh, so after that you can run tmux attach and again attach to that terminal and uh, Suppose I again attach to that terminal and uh, restart the Flask server by pressing CTRL plus C and uh, make any changes uh, you want and after that again run the Flask server. So that's how you can attach again to the Tmux session and uh, again to deattach press CTRL plus B and then nothing will happen so don't worry that nothing is happening just press D and it will automatic, automatically deattach from session. And let's close this SSS terminal and uh, go and refresh it. It's working properly. And it's uh, hosted also. And if you want to stop the instance, you can just go to AWS account and uh, select the instance and uh, just go to terminate instance and uh, terminate it. So this will stop your server. Now it will stop working. So yeah, that's all for this video. In this video, we saw how to uh, host your uh, LangChain application, uh, which uh, which is made with Flask APIs uh, in AWS EC2 instance. If you have any doubt, just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.